welcome to another video i am joined with uh, natal uh, who will help me uh, just take a look at something we just something exciting we got picked up today at nnd which is the cyberpunk xbox one or xbox series wireless controller uh, so natal what do you think thoughts I like the whole color scheme they've gone for it with the whole uh, gray on silver. So just a big quick look at the box. So on the side we've got uh, just a few specifications. On the side we've got all the uh, details as to what comes in there. So this one it says includes a limited edition wireless controller, two AA batteries and uh, this also runs on Windows as well, so you can connect it if you have the adapter or USB cable. Uh, there's some way of doing it. The back is pretty much um, just a quick look at a bit of graphics and a quick look at the back and uh, the controller, the front and back of it, a closer look at it. Uh, pretty cool one so far. I'm liking the design and the, uh, the packaging they've done. So, we shall open this up and here we go. Man, that's nice. This is nice. That's nice. This is very nice. The color it's... combination is so much improved in that. Yeah, it's almost like uh, yeah. unboxing a phone, literally, because you're greeted by that hole, you know. Yeah. They're taken away by how nice it looks, or, you know, something valuable almost, it looks like. And yeah, granted, these are retailing for regular price. So um, if anyone wants any, I'm unfortunately they're all sold out everywhere. So good luck trying to get your hands on one. It's probably your best bet is resale. But uh, anyways, we were lucky to get our hands on one. Um, so taking a quick look at this, uh, we got a dual uh, color scheme going on here, um, with one side being a polished, shiny, like a, almost a metallic silver. And on the right hand side, the other half being a very matte, you know, matte. chipped away, yeah, chipped away kind of art, um, you know, plate. What do you think, Natal? What's your favorite? Do you prefer this color scheme or what do you think? Do you think they should have done it in the yellow that Cyberpunk usually is known for? Or do you think this is, they've done justice because... That's actually nice. I think they've done a good job, yeah. I think... Yeah. Had they gone yellow, it would have been a bit too much for the eye. So, yes. yeah, I think this is a too good design. Fancy. Yes, yes, too much. It'll be too fancy. It'll be too out of the out of place. I think this is a very subtle yet uh, detailed controller. So on the side, we've got uh, Osaka, the company. I believe one of the companies in the game. And uh, over here, we've got uh, a very chipped away, scratched kind of laser etched design like it, for example it will say it says no future here this seems like it's almost scratched in there i believe this is all laser engraved like laser etched as well so this is a very nice touch to it uh this actually isn't used <laughs> even though it does look a bit used it's actually the design the way it comes so like the paint and you know the paint chips and the paint uh, damage done to this is all intentional part of the design taking a look at the back We've got a logo here. I'm not sure which logo this is. I think this is uh, Johnny Silverhand's logo. Could be wrong. Do not hold me on that one. Uh, we've also got the 2077 on here. Um, and a QR code. I'm not sure what the QR code is. I'd be curious to see what that scans into, if it is scanned. Um, over here, we got a nice touch. We got red bumpers on this side, on uh, on the side of, you know, on the silver side and we got the same color going on here dual so we got a very polished matte look here and a very sh shiny plastic panel going on over the on the on the front uh, another interesting piece is the fact that it's got grip like a bit of a textured grip over here on either side on underneath the controller where you grip it uh, compared to regular controllers this one is a new addition to it apart from the design of course um yeah and we've also got uh one of the sticks has a red you know out underline going along here which is also very cool um natal what are your thoughts on the whole game and you know are you gonna pre-order this as well gonna pre-order the game or or is it just another pass yeah that's all it's, it's worth the money. It's worth the money as well, yeah. Um. So yeah, so we'll get the controller aside. Apart from that, we've just got two batteries here. 
uh, two AA batteries like they mentioned and underneath here we've got uh, I'm not gonna take this out because this is the code for Game Pass Ultimate uh, but we've got a quick start manual as to how you can control it and how you can get it started how to put batteries in how to turn it on um, all of this stuff which is quite nice which is uh, pretty cool too so I'm sure all of you Xbox people probably know how you know how to do this already but this one is a warranty guide got all the warranty information in various languages all the boring stuff I'm not sure what this is but um, yeah I guess this is another piece that came with it so apart from that that's all we get included with the you know, in terms of the content so all in all I think this is pretty well worth the purchase quite well designed quite well uh, manufactured and uh, I think it's a good piece of uh, history in terms of like gaming memorabilia rather not history sorry um, anyone who is a fan of the game and a fan of Johnny Silverhand will definitely appreciate this controller with the whole detail and the thought that has gone behind this uh, this we actually picked up for one of uh, I think it was for I'm not too sure who we picked this up for but I think I this copy is mine which I'll be hanging on to got this on display i don't think any of us would want to play with this right natal i don't think we would ever <laughs> want to yeah. ruin this yeah i know it's already like you know got a bit of semi destroyed decayed nature to it but that itself is part of the aesthetic the design behind it i don't think we need to add more to it by kind of playing with it and wearing off the grips and stuff like that all in all a nice controller very well uh, manufactured very well designed and uh, the case it comes in is a regular box this box is a regular box of course all xbox consoles in the past have come in a similar design or similar style of packaging but i think if we uh, you know put this on display somewhere like that it would look very nice by itself to look a nice it would be a nice conversation piece something to you know and with the whole yellow bright neon yellow almost of the whole uh, color scheme and artwork is definitely gonna stick out uh so yeah i think that all that should sum up the video right i think uh, we've gone through everything on here yes, yes. um so yeah anything uh, any other questions you guys have do leave it in the comments down below uh we will be getting a few other consoles in the future to review as well a few other limited edition ones uh yeah so this one is uh the the latest one that came i also believe this one comes with the one x the 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 console itself the, the cyberpunk console the one x it comes with uh, the same consoler but obviously we managed to get one separately which is a good touch to it uh so yeah i guess that should sum up the video uh do keep an eye out for more videos on our channel do subscribe hit that bell icon as well so you can stay notified if there are any other whenever we post new videos and the latest content uh do leave a like as well or you know just uh Share this with your friends if any of you is interested in picking one up. Any fans of the game, anyone, any Xbox fans, any video game fans, anyone in general. I'm sure we can all agree this looks pretty cool. So yeah, I guess that should leave it at that. Uh, I'm Zuan and uh, I'd like to thank Natal for joining me once again from Sri Lanka uh, for this review. And yeah, do keep an eye out on our channel. Uh, this is me, Zuan, signing out. See you guys around. Bye. <laughs>